welcome back in this step let's start focusing on the footer let's go down to the footer component and let's start with creating a footer so let's create a footer inside it let's create a div and let's create a container div inside it let's put all rights reserved at whatever thing that you would want to put it in here and you can maybe put a year 2000 18. This is how the page looks like right now. We have a footer at the bottom, but I would want this to be here. So I would want a fixed position for this footer. What we'll do is we'll add a little bit of CSS for that. What we'll do is we'll open up the footer component CSS. So this CSS is specific to just the footer. So we are adding it directly in the footer component. And what we want to do is footer. What we want to do, we would want to have a absolute position. Oops, actually it's position absolute what we want is it should be at the bottom of the page let's give it a width and a height let's say it should be 40 pixels and let's give it a darker background color hash two 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 let's just say that and let's see what would happen now. Oops, save it. Oops, we did not add the class. That's the reason why it's not really formatted. So class is equal to footer. Okay, nice. Now you can see the footer at the bottom, but I'm not able to see the text all rights reserved. What I'll do is I'll go to the footer component and add a sp span around this span. I'll say class is equal to text white cool now you can see the footer down here i think it's a little too bright so let's not really use text white let's make it a little muted cool now you have this down here that's nice you have a header that's cool let's now focus on the actual content of the page let's go to the root component app dot component dot html and over here what i'll do is i'll include the actual content of the page in a div typically if you put something in a container then it would be appearing with, with a little bit of a padding and stuff so typically i like putting stuff in container so let's con put the main content of the page inside a container div and what we'll do is we'll go to the to do's dot component dot html we'll add a class onto this so we'll remove the border is equal to one and let's say class is equal to to do's and what we'll do is we'll have a h1 saying the title so this would be let's say my to do's i'll remove the caption we don't really need the caption anymore and Next, what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of div again. Div class is equal to container. So I'll put the table as well in the div. So let's do that and save it. And now this looks much better, right? Aha, the class I should have added in here should be class is equal to table. Cool. Now the to do's page looks much better than what it was earlier. Let's do similar stuff on the login page. Let's do that quickly as well. So what we want to do is we want to add a h1 saying this is login, let's say. And I'll put a div here, div class is equal to container. And let's tap this in. And over here, instead of using small, what I'll do is use something called div. Bootstrap has this concept called alerts. So we'll use those. So we'll say class is equal to alert, and this would be a warning alert. Because this is an error message, so I'm doing that. And over here, all the other stuff kind of looks good. Let's go to the login page and see how it looks. Cool login page the only thing which i don't really like is the login button so let's add a class onto this button as well so let's add a class is equal to 
button and button success cool now we have a login now the login page looks relatively well designed i'll click login now and you can see you can go in here let's go to the welcome page and design it a little bit what i'll do is i'll remove this divs in chart between let's have just one line welcome this that should be fine and let's add a class is equal to container and let's add a h1 welcome okay it says welcome welcome in 28 minutes you can manage your to do's here i can go here and manage my to do's the home link works to do's links works login link works in 28 minutes dummy will i be able to log in cool now you'd see that most of the stuff on this page looks much better than what it was earlier in the last two steps we used a little bit of css little bit of bootstrap to make these pages look better bootstrap is definitely not the focus of this course but even then um, if you search for bootstrap 4 you'd be able to get to this website where you have a lot of information about bootstrap and a lot of examples as well so i'll recommend you to spend some time with all this stuff when you have some time later for now Let's focus on Angular and I'll see you in the next step.